Just a few miles outside of Orlando, in the heart of Central Florida, lie 43 square miles of future fun and fantasy known as Walt Disney World, a place so enormous that it includes its own zoological island park, a 650-acre campground, resort hotels, a lakeside shopping village, the newest wonder of the world, Epcot Center, and the most magical place in the world, the Magic Kingdom. Hi, I'm Denise. We're about to take you on a tour of the number one vacation destination on Earth, Walt Disney World. Your tour guides for the trip will be trolley car conductors, golf pros, waiters, wardrobe specialists, people like me who work here at Walt Disney World. All of us are delighted to be able to show you our world personally. Right now, we're in the Magic Kingdom, and that's the perfect place to start. So come on, follow us. Welcome to Main Street. Hi, we're mighty glad you're here. Climb on board, and we'll show you around. Watch your step now. Save the best till last. Space Mountain. I know you've heard of it. Come on, don't be chicken. to the land of adventure. If you're planning on leaving here soon, please don't hold your breath. Those creatures that won't eat you will talk you to death. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Leaky Tiki, adventure lovers. My name is Steve, and I'll be your skipper, uh, unless we run into trouble, in which case your new skipper will be in charge. What did you say your name was? Me. Watch out for that tree there. A giant python. Showed up. If you missed the rich Irvine, then you really missed the boat and Frontierland to boot. 
Thought we'd start upriver, give you a feel for life along the Mississippi. And there's my old friend, Davy. We check to see that they have their watch fobs, their pipes, their fraternity buttons. Uh, Mr. Washington seems to wear out the elbows in his frock coat quite often. And Mr. Lincoln, he's quite active, you know. His collars have to be changed a lot. It's not easy getting 39 presidents ready for work each morning. Surely God would not have created such a being as man with ability to grasp the infinite, to exist only for a day. No. No. Man was made for immortality. Welcome to Epcot Center showcase of great nations and 21st century innovations. This is Future World. Here you can travel through time and space and imagination, find the future and touch tomorrow. But Future World is only half the Epcot Center story. Just outside the American Adventure is World Showcase, a gathering of nations dedicated to the celebration of all mankind, our cultural heritage, our beautiful landscapes, our exotic foods, and our talented people. This is the place, World Showcase at Epcot Center. Well, let's get going to Canada, then to England, and on to France. We won't stop until we've been around the world. You can't leave Germany without the teddy bear.
Welcome to China's Temple of Heaven. May it bring you happiness and good fortune. Good evening, my friends. Welcome to the restaurant San Angelin. Welcome to Future World. You are looking at Spaceship Earth, 180 feet tall, the only geosphere on Earth. Once inside, you can ride through time, tracing man's means of communication. I, too, am one of man's latest and greatest means of communication, smart one. We're Huey, Dewey, and Louie, nephews of Donald Duck. Yes. Smart kid. Let's take a quick spin around Communicore. I think you're going to like the place. Serious, do you predict the world's energy situation will be by the end of the 1980s? We've got a computer for everything, even a personal one for making dinner reservations. How many adults in your party? No adults, three robots. Uh, uh, uh. I'll stay here with the young lady. You can continue through Future World, beginning with the universe of energy.
my little purple friend here is a figment of my imagination. <laughs> well, I guess that about does it for Future World and Epcot Center. But as for seeing the whole of Walt Disney World, why, you've only just begun. <laughs> We've got beautiful hotels to stay in. Water to play in and championship golf courses and horses and a zoo. There's so much to do. Well, please. <laughs> he gets a bit carried away. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, there's a young fellow waiting to carry you away. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. It's a wonderful world. <laughs> There are many places to stay in Walt Disney World. There's the townhouses, the villas, and even tree houses. But nothing beats staying out here in Fort Wilderness. It's 650 acres of campsites, cookouts, and trail rides. We've turned many a city slicker into a pretty good cow hen, and horseback riding is only the beginning. Fort Wilderness. It's the kind of place where one kid can fall in love with another. Discovery Island, we have everything from Scarlet Ibis and Galapagos Tortoise to these funny little creatures here. I've heard guests call them rabbits and deer, and someone even called them a long-eared dog. They're actually giant guinea pigs. Discovery Island is a certified zoological park. It's the only island zoo in the world. This is Sunshine. He's a scarlet macaw from the jungles of South America. How would you like to hold him? Uh, Step up. Uncle Bird, is this an apple or a cracker? Apple. It's an apple. You're right. You win the prize. Folks come to Discovery Island to let their kids experience birds and animals they may never see again in their lifetime. <laughs> Don't forget your towel. You're going to need it. After river country, there's skiing, sailing, tennis, boating, golf, horseback riding. You're looking at the recreation capital of the world. Nighttime around the world is simply dazzling. Whether you decide to drop in the jazz lounge, hit the big dinner shows, or watch the outdoor spectacular, you're simply in for a night that will light up your life. the entire Walt Disney World cast, thank you for touring the Vacation Kingdom. And remember that in this magical place filled with so many things to see and do, the most important part of our world is you. Keeps us up. 